Next piece had to do with gaining depth. So what I was talking about in the analysis was from where the arms hang. Arms hang under the shoulders. Okay, so from where the shoulder joint is, we want to have our arms hanging from the shoulder joint. Now, our goal with the hands is when we turn back, when the arms swing with the body, the arms will bring the hands in and the hands will end up above the heel line. So they start, if you see where the hands start, just outside my toe line. And after I complete my turn, my hands should end up above the heel line. Now, what you need to be able to feel, and this is what I was trying to explain in the analysis. If you have your arm in front of you like this, okay, right now, we can say that my arm is at a 90 degree angle to my chest. In our backswing, we have to add in this inward motion of the arm to the chest, okay? So if you think of where the arm would be right now, 90 degrees to my chest, the arm is going to come across the chest towards your midline as you're swinging in the backswing. If it did not, okay, if you kept that 90 degree relationship between the arm and the body, what we'd see is something more like this. Okay, so my arms would be too far out in front and I wouldn't have sufficient depth. Therefore, if I were to try and shallow, I'd have to do so almost artificially by adding stuff in through the transition. And that's, that's a layer of complication that's going to make the swing a lot more inconsistent. So if I had two options, if one option was to keep this perfect 90 degree relationship and just turn, okay, again, where that's going to get me, okay, that's going to get me right there with my hands. The other one would be, okay, I wanna feel like that goes in as I swing back. Okay, now if I swing back, I want that arm to come in with the body, you see the difference. So if I keep that at 90, the relationship of the arm to my torso, and I turn, you see where that depth would get me? If I allow my arm to work towards my midline as I rotate back, now I get sufficient depth. And that's what we want to be able to feel. Again, the goal is not for us to be able to get the hands right there. Our goal is to get the hands somewhere above that heel line, okay? If we can get more depth with the hands and the arms, what we're going to find is that delivering the golf club shallower requires a lot less manipulation. From that position where the, the arms are too far out in front, I have to do a lot through the transition and that's gonna be conscious, that's gonna take work, it's gonna make things less consistent versus if I can just add in more of that depth, getting into a nice shallow delivery is gonna be a lot more seamless.